Alrighty, here we have a free-to-play MMO called Runes of Magic. I just got onto this a few days ago and I'm, I'm digging it and I'm liking it a lot. So let me just show a little tutorial and uh, I'll skip around and show all the important stuff, stuff that I've learned. Uh, for new players it can be kind of abstract, some of the things. So I'll uh, try to explain as best I can. So I have all these servers here. I've already made some on other ones, but we'll start on a fresh server. Yeah, server Rini, Reni. We'll create a character. There are two different races, elves and humans. And there are six classes for each. Um, elves have the Warden and Druid class exclusive to them. And humans have the priest and the knight class. All of the races will get warrior, scout, rogue, and mage. So we'll make an elf. Purely because their starting area is nicer. It's like the difference between Burning Crusade starting areas and Elwyn Forest starting areas. Um, we'll go with the Druid. Uh, druids are not like WoW where they can shapeshift. Their Druids and Runes of Magic are basically healers and DPS. It's like a mage and a priest rolled into one. They're not as good as either one by themselves, but they have everything. So they have to make a compromise in the power. Anyways, this looks good, whatever. You can play a lot with the customization, like I can uh, give her a tiny head. <laughs> so, I mean, you could fool around characters if you really get into it. You can make something that looks different. There's lots of different faces, too. Let me zoom in so you, zoom in so you can see the difference. There's tons of different faces. There's tons of different hairstyles. Hair colors, I mean, it's every color of the rainbow here. You change the brightness, <clears throat> whatever. We'll just go. Go. Bart Burger is created. Bart Burger is go. Enter world. Now when you first start the game, it has an option to go into a tutorial instance. It's very simple. We'll just go in it real quick. You only get one shot to go in it, and you get a, a, a basic item. So it's like, hi, go to the flag for the movement. It has click to move movement, but I hate that, so I disabled it. WASD movement is better. So it's saying, hey, you can move like that. Wow, well done. You can zoom in and out. Woohoo! Well done. Alright, so here we go. There's someone here in front of us roping. She's got an exclamation point on top of her head, and that means, you know, a quest. So, anyways, <clears throat> she's got some ravine spiders you got to deal with. Shows the different rewards. And you also get a supply kit and a title, a novice adventure for doing this. So, we'll go defeat the spiders. And Mithra is going to help us along with this, along with uh, Mithra's buddies, or Roping's buddies. Oh no, the spiders are attacking. Whatever will we do? So it's fairly straightforward. It's like, wow. It's like most standard MMOs of today. Uh oh, the boss spider. There we go. 
him. Alright, let's go back to roping. <clears throat> it is very simple, just to show you the basics of how to move and whatnot. Anyways, we'll just finish this out and we'll select what gives us maximum hit points for now. <laughs> Cheers to Burt Burger. A blessing of roping. Now, when you do this, you get a two day buff on your character that increases all attributes by 20% for two days. So it's kind of worth it to do the tutorial dungeon just for that. If you die, the buff goes away. But you have two days where you have like a, an edge in the helping you quest. So now let me talk about the special stuff about this game. <clears throat> it's standard quests. There's, you know, exclamation points, you go do stuff. It's like WoW or Lord of the Rings or any of the modern MMOs. Um, the main difference that you'll find right away <clears throat> is the backpack. The backpack has only two tabs where you can use. Sadly, or as a consequence of it being free to play uh, they have to make money somehow to keep the game running and this is how they do it so tab 3 you can't put anything here because rents expired now you can rent a, the backpack space but it costs seven diamonds seven blue diamonds and you can rent it from three days all the way to 180 days okay and those cost diamonds you can get diamonds by buying them on their website and that's normally how it goes for free to play MMOs with the cash shop however in Runes of Magic you can sell your diamonds so if I bought 20 bucks worth of diamonds I could sell it for a lot of in-game gold alright um, basically what that means is you don't have to buy anything in this game with real currency you can just accumulate a bunch of gold and then trade it with other players who are willing to part with their diamonds for in-game gold. So anything that you want to get that's in the cash shop, you can get without paying a dollar. Okay, that's out of the way. That's what the blue things are. The red things are rubies. Now rubies you get, it's kind of like a coupon that you get when you buy something through the cash shop let me open it up here when you buy something through the item shop <clears throat> like this right here bind lifter alright what this does is it for 79 diamonds you'll get an item that will unbind an item from you so like a bound item you could take it off you so that way you could trade your uber epic tier 5 6 or 8 or whatever thing to someone else for millions of gold after you get done using it. You don't have to just vendor it. <laughs> Alright, now, well, what it says here is Ruby Bonus, 13. If I bought this for 79 diamonds, I would get 13 rubies. And they have actually a ruby shop where you can buy different stuff for rubies only. So that's what that is. It's mostly fun little fireworks and transformation stuff. But that's what rubies are. Alright, next thing here is when you first start off, we got that supply kit from the first quest. So let's open it up. And we got potions. So that's good. Now, we also have this other thing called the magic gift bag. Magic gift bag will stay with you. Let me equip this ring real quick. Magic gift bag will stay with you through all your entire journey. I don't know when it goes away. I've only been up to like 27, 28. But every level about, you will get a gift from the gift bag. So right now, I'm a new player. I'm level 1. Let's open it up. It's a welcome bag. It's giving me a ring, and it gave me 15 of both of the potions. So 9 defense ring, and then it gives me an adventurer's gift bag. And when I hit level 2, I can open this and get the gifts out of that. Alright. So that's that for the most part. With inventory and basic diamond stuff. Uh, map. 
Okay, here's your map. Oh, where'd it go here? Now, normally in the vanilla game, you can't zoom out. Like, right here, I right-click to zoom out. There's a... Normally in the vanilla game, you have to go here and select the 